Hi, we are at Indo-Pacific 2025 in Sydney, Australia. We are now with Australian shipbuilder Sivmec, who is showcasing for the first time this uh, capability and enhancements for the currently in production Arafura class of OPVs for the Royal Australian Navy. So these ships are currently in production with Sivmec in Western Australia. And to find out more about what uh, the company is proposing to upgrade those vessels, we are meeting with uh, Sab Webb. He is the government relation manager at Sivmec. Sam, good morning, great to see you. Good morning, it's, uh, great to see you. Thank you very much for joining us. So Sam, you're showcasing for the first time uh, what you call capability enhancements for the Arafura class OPVs. Uh, so what is this about exactly? So the Arafura class are starting to enter service. Uh, Ship One was commissioned two months ago and is now actually alongside, uh, um, outside of the Indo-Pacific show. Ship 2 was delivered a month ago and will enter service probably at the beginning of next year. We launched Ship 3 uh, last Friday and she's on track for delivery in the middle of next year and will hopefully enter service by the end of, the, of next year. And so what we're seeing is a, a program that is starting to enter service. And what we want to do here is demonstrate to the Royal Australian Navy a series of modular easy to develop options that could be used to enhance the capabilities of the Arafura class offshore patrol vessel. This is not a ship that's going to be a tier one uh, combatant. This is about capabilities that can be added in a post-production capability insertion period that can add to its capabilities to protect within Australia's uh, area of operations and to enhance its presence and persistence within the Indo-Pacific. Uh, Sam, can you tell us more about each of these uh, upgrades or modules? Yep, so we've chosen a series of indicative options that we want to partner with the Royal Australian Navy. Uh, and the capabilities that we've chosen are in-service options globally around the world, some of which are including the reference ship design that would be easy and adaptable in a kind of modular format to deliver. So starting in the front of the ship, we've included the uh, Bofors 57mm gun, this uh, gun is actually on the reference ship design for the Brunei Navy. Uh, a lot of the engineering work for upgrading this gun has already been included. There are some small changes that would need to be done, but it's a relatively simple step to increase. It is currently the world's leading uh, gun for anti-air and drone defense. It's you know, programmable ammunition would allow it to enhance the capabilities of the Arafura class uh, offshore patrol vessel. We've also added in the naval strike missile. This, is, this missile is already in service with the Royal Australian Navy, and we've completed some studies already on how you would place that uh, missile to, and integrate it within the ship itself, uh, but it would extend the range of the Arafura class offshore patrol vessel to at least 200 kilometers and allow it to engage uh, and provide a degree of lethality. Alongside that, we've included a series of container-based uh, solutions. So where it's open uh, aft deck with two 10-ton uh, cranes and with a kind of drop-through hatch and the access to the uh, deck underneath, the, the ship is purpose-built for containerized solutions. And Chief of Navy has already described the ship as, you know, being at the of his ambition for it to be at the forefront of testing autonomous systems for the Royal Australian Navy. And we want to lean in and help the Royal Australian Navy on that journey. Uh, so again, this is a, uh, you know, a modular system that can be slotted in relatively low cost. The ship already has the space weight and power to support uh, powered containerized solutions. And then finally, at the rear of the ship, we've added the Captas-1 towed array sonar from Talus. Uh, Australia is on a significant journey to be a true uh, anti-surface warfare uh, uh, navy and is looking at the concept of theater-based uh, um, array sonars and ASW. The sonar 2087 will enter service with the Hunter-class frigate. That's an upgraded version of the Captas-4 sonar from Talus. What adding the, the Captas-1 sonar does is it allows you a uh, kind of twofold, both an entry training point for the Royal Australian Navy so they can use that capability, get used to the capability, but also from a, from a capability perspective of it, it will allow you to start to look at kind of theatre level, uh, multi-static sonar uh, 
across multiple ships uh, within Australia's area of operations start to detect an action uh, the increasing threat of underwater UUVs uh, and allows that step gate in capability. But my kind of wider point on the ship is it's, it's an incredible modern design that's designed to be modular in its capability. And we want to be the partners of the Royal Australian Navy as they explore that wider set of capability options. Uh, lastly, uh, Sam, uh, in addition to the Arafura capability announcements, you're also showcasing that nice scale model of your facility in uh, Anderson, West Australia. Uh, that is, so this is your shipbuilding facility and you're showing two future Royal Australian Navy frigates in production. So can you tell us more briefly about this uh, display? Yes, yeah, so we are Western Australia's uh, only integrated steel shipbuilder. Our 200,000 square meter site with 1,200 shipbuilders has the full capability to take from plate into uh, ship and, and launch in, uh, into service. So we've got our fabrication hall, where we've got the beam and panel lines, sub-block assembly. We have two blast and paint facilities, an exotic materials facility, and we have the largest ship assembly and consolidation hall in the Southern Hemisphere that is capable of hosting four frigate-sized ships uh, and uh, putting them to sea. Uh, it's the size of uh, roughly the Tokyo Dome in Japan, uh, and so it's you know, a significant size um, with that full capability to consolidate. And uh, because of the height of the facility, we can also consolidate the mast on the ship uh, all undercover. All right, Sam. Thank you very much. Thank you.